Well, welcome back my gardening friends to a September tour and a vegetable harvest. It's September the 11th. Not sure when you'll see this video, but this is uh, mid-September anyway. These are the Christmas Day uh, potatoes. Well, hopefully. Uh, looking nice, green and lush. And hopefully blight free and this is the uh, pomegranate and thank you very much uh, to everyone that's helped me out with that with lots of lovely links that i can follow quite easily uh, pop back and have a look at that video if you want to see uh, that video on uh, growing pomegranates in the uk i uh, was promptly told by somebody to get rid of all the leaves on the tomatoes I'd completely forgot all about it so thank you and these are the shop-bought supermarket tomatoes and I'll be growing those again uh, over the well not over the winter but I'll be saving some of these tomatoes and you can join in if you want by picking your favorite supermarket tomato slice it up put it in some compost leave it in a polytunnel over winter and then come the spring or when you're ready to germinate them just grab a handful and put them under some heat and light now these green grapes are coming uh, to their best now well some of them are uh, it looks like it's a seedless variety very sweet very few seeds so I'll be taking some cuttings from these so that uh, I may have one of these plants uh, within the actual polytunnel I've been watching this tomato for a while Hmm, what's that remind you of? That'll be going into uh, the harvest later on. And that's a bloody butcher. These are the money maker. These are the seeds I saved over the winter. Sliced them up, put them in compost. And this is the uh, <coughs> compost bin runoff. And uh, there's uh, all sorts in there everything that uh, will compost down that compost down in there then all the juices are collected and uh, yeah oh I crashed of course took me off the situation again and it's overflowing and I'm uh, wasting valuable liquid but uh, it's the only trouble with being uh, very very busy and this grape that was really struggling for a long time He's now uh, venturing uh, up the greenhouse. This is probably uh, one of the red variety, uh, Boss Coop Glory. <clears throat> As you probably hear my voice, I've had a bit of man flu for the last few days. Uh, 29 days on the trot it'll be with one day off. So that's a little bit more than I told you last time. It doesn't do you any good. As I've said before, the sunlight, sunflowers are there and the birds have had every uh, seed out of that one and as they uh, ripen uh, the birds will help the cells of course it could be the mice wildflower garden let's see if there's anything still worth looking at
and even some of the hollyhocks are still there uh, giving us some nice flowers so this has now had an extended life with all these other flowers growing and it's alive uh, with uh, our pollinators I've only had one lot of tomatoes uh, hit with blight because there's uh, one here there's another one uh, just there uh, the big apple off that tree disappeared mm. and just behind us uh, these uh, two trailing tomatoes tiny tim possibly or similar these are also my save seeds and consider uh, they've run really well this year so uh, again i did say before i wasn't but i think i will save uh, these trailing uh, tomatoes some of it's died off possibly blight but the tomatoes aren't showing blight so we'll be happy with that and there's a few there splitting because of the uh, the extra rain we've had recently the rhubarb's still going strong not as if we actually uh, pick it this time of the year because we do need it to stay uh, uh, there so it feeds the crowns and some of these stalks now are thickening up nice i'm just hoping i'll be able to get three heavy ones uh, for the show and anybody that follows me on facebook will have seen uh, all the giants that i'm actually entering and we'll be doing some videos uh, later on i've got three plums left i'm not touching them now till the wasps actually start eating them then although they're ready And some of the other apples, even though they're a bit scabby. We don't mind, we can always peel the skin off them. And uh, we've got some uh, nice ones there. And I thought that big apple had been pinched, but if they'd have been and pinched that one, they'd have helped themselves to all this. So I think the birds have had uh, a feast with it. And the one conference pair is sitting there let's go and have a look at it all on its own camouflaged so the uh, nobody pinches it I've gone a whole week and I haven't found no compost <laughs> I'm getting withdrawal symptoms but most of the other stuff's stacked up there or oh, now we've got these pots fully encircle uh, all this rhubarb ready for when we do our uh, new raised beds lots and lots of uh, raspberries and uh, we've got a few now that well more than a few that have been damaged by the rain but uh, there's more than enough for me and the birds the blackberries uh, are almost at their end so i don't think there'll be any uh, think worth picking uh, the flies have been sucking on that as well, so I may as well finish that one off. Excuse me. Lovely sunny evening. And as you can see, lots of fresh raspberries and lots of fresh canes. And hopefully they'll produce raspberries as well. No, I haven't done that job yet from my September job list. As some of you are aware, I've uh, got to make a, a new gate and I've got to get these slabs sorted. I've managed to borrow a string line there so I can get a nice straight edge all the way up the allotment. And those that wanted to see the pallet turn into a gate, uh, that'll be after the, uh, the Malvern show when I've got a little bit more time. And when I've got the weekends to myself as well, without Mrs King giving me a massive long job list that I need to get done. And while I've been pottering about before I started filming, I noticed that um, this one had got uh, some green fly on it. And you can see the leaves have all curled over in on itself because it's all been the, the green fly uh, sucking all the sap out of it. So 
I've uh, sprayed the center with neem oil I want to see how that recovers I've sprayed these with neem oil in the middles just to see if uh, that will stop the green fly because once the green fly gets on it does look a mess and it's a dwarf green kale variety and it's up to uh, my shoulders where it gets dwarf green from I don't know that's more like it had some more pickings off it um, I won't take any kale today but the um, peacock white is started to recover now the pigeons have decided they uh, they've had their fill I just need to take the bottom leaves off to encourage it to sprout at the top the uh, balotti beans I can't see what you can see because the sun's so bright the balotti beans are now uh, got the seeds in so I believe I've just got to uh, let those dry out harvest the seeds and then we can uh, use those uh, in the hot pot over the uh, winter months yes we're talking about winter months now already and we're in autumn it's a glorious day this sunflower can come out now pop it on the floor the mice can have a fill uh, Mrs King said can I have a cabbage a green cabbage I thought hmm okay do you want a small one <laughs> that's the smallest so that's what she'll get today still haven't done nothing with the beetroot but we'll be uh, harvesting some of that and I was watching uh, Alan uh, on the dawn chorus uh, plot I'll pay him a visit always comments on my channel and he's almost always first so you'll see his comment there just pay him a visit and he showed us how to store his carrots and uh, uh, beetroot during the cooler months I think that's got to come out uh, whoops uh, yes more palette collars um, this was um, a colleague a contractor said he'd got some pallet collars I've been waiting eight months for them but uh, definitely worth uh, waiting for that top one's one of the cheap ones that I've got to uh, put a few screws in it's easier to do it while it's on there there's a couple there that uh, they sent that were a bit broken and again more of those cheap nasty collars that uh, I need to do repairs on uh, making use of uh, part of a pallet collar and there's another one with uh, one of the ends missing so I shall be uh, cutting this one down to size to fit continue taking the uh, liquid off the manure this that's the fresh fresh manure runoff and uh, I've just taken that today the spent potato compass filling up nicely now as I uh, harvest the potatoes and uh, all this compost bins coming out as you know on the other plot I've got an IBC that's uh, got a hole in the top so until I know where my raised beds come to depending on what room I've got but this is so awkward here because I've got to try and get all the material to it so all the compost bins are going to be on plot one where we've got the other manure liquid runoff and hopefully I won't have to store too much compost because I'll be able to put it straight onto the uh, raised beds looks like one of my beets for Malvern uh, is getting a touch of um, rust I might spray that with Nemo I'm spraying everything with Nemo why not mainly because this one hasn't got it uh, I haven't entered this carrot but I will be revealing it uh, on one of the videos and I'm going to cheat I've put one uh, for me long parsnip not in the guttering that I'll show you shortly but actually out my box and hopefully I might even get a card with something uh, just over a meter long carrot box I've also entered um, three carrots on a plate other than long so I'm going to pick uh, three or four half a dozen carrots to take to Malvern for the uh, the main uh, competition we'll see how we get on with that the uh, long beans the eating beans are doing quite well and uh, I've also been told off again because I've been eating these raw 
and apparently they're poisonous. Now, I didn't know that. Trouble is, I haven't eaten any for over a week <laughs> and I've been bad. Mm. So, no, please don't eat uh, raw beans like I do. You'll make yourself poorly. Or in my case, it makes me poorly anyway if I don't. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, the celery's flopped again and that was growing uh, in a, a trench. This is better that's actually uh, shaded, but I'll be pulling uh, a couple of celery today. And uh, the uh, lettuce that we cut back. Now, I think there's a bit of timing involved with the cutting back of this lettuce, not too late. This was cut back uh, probably two weeks before and it's come back uh, really well. And it just makes uh, quite a nice change uh, on the uh, plate or in my lunchbox, excuse me. I need to get these buckets now into the polytunnel when I can find some room so they don't get too wet. The remaining potato that we saw I left had actually got blight the real bad uh, signs so I've pulled those out and I've got a video on how I actually pull the stems clean out so that uh, there's no stem left in so there's no way the blight can actually travel down and you shouldn't uh, empty the bucket out for another two weeks just to let all the blight spores that are sitting on top die off and then you can harvest your potatoes and then store them if you wish as you know I normally eat uh, as I reveal I've got to harvest a red cabbage today but uh, that would make some uh, quite uh, quite a few jars of uh, pickled cabbage We're suffering greatly now with white fly but uh, the main cabbage this one doing quite well it's about a meter and a half wide it's probably a little bit narrower now now it's just dying off a little bit but hopefully I won't get embarrassed by uh, showing these uh, cabbages so it's going to be possibly this cabbage in the red and that one in the green this is my giant beetroot from last year you might be able to see that I can't through the screen and I've let it go to seed and uh, yes there'll be a fair bit of seed on there this is the leek and the only leek that I sprayed with uh, neem oil and it's clean as a whistle so throughout the uh, beginning of the season instead of having all these issues with a beet leaf miner that uh, may be the only vegetable I do spray neem oil and actually eat it. Even the last few spring onions have, uh, have got the beet leaf miner now. So, uh, allium leaf miner. As we move into uh, the polytunnel uh, so I've entered the long beetroot I'll have a look how long the parsnip is and how long the long carrot is but they'll be inches uh, and millimeters not meters and uh, the gigantimo tomato there I'll harvest one of those I'm going to let that onion go to seed I've not entered that and I'll select the uh, longest and the heaviest cucumbers uh, to go to uh, to Malvern and uh, I have noticed yeah oh there we go we've got another telepathy uh, cucumber growing I'm not thinning any of these out in here yet because I don't want them to ripen too quickly I want to harvest all those from outside first Definitely not going to let Mrs King come up here to harvest any tomatoes, she'll soon have that one off. 
the grapes are now dwindling down and I've uh, really enjoyed uh, eating those. The salad crops have done uh, really well this time. Been pleased with them. The, uh, the successional uh, sowing has uh, helped and I've done the uh, radishes as well. These uh, need uh, pulling out now, so we'll have a harvest a few of them. If they are a bit uh, tough, they're a bit tough. And this box of carrots, some of them are big, some of them are small. I can't understand that, that can't be the same variety. But uh, I'll probably pull uh, most of those out today. And the successional sowing of the French beans, Cobra, are now climbing up um, the uh, wigwam. And I've just got to make sure I don't get them mixed up with the pongo beans. But um, letting uh, go to seed. Again, I'll have plenty of seed this time. And we've even got some uh, ones that I could actually pick. We'll see. It's surprising how long it takes to harvest uh, a few uh, vegetables so uh, this is one of the giant cabbages so I'll be interesting to see uh, how good that is uh, for, for eating and this is the uh, one of the red cabbages now if you can imagine that and that that's going to weigh uh, quite a bit this is uh, really quite heavy it's got to be at least uh, two kilos but we'll see. I um, think I should have tried blanching the celery and it's a little bit dry as well. But uh, I do like the inside ones. Uh, they're going into my uh, lunchbox uh, quite nicely. Uh, just show you the uh, shop bought uh, cherry tomatoes. Some have split, but never mind. And I haven't watered them. I do stop watering them at this time of the year, which like you should do. These are the Sabutio F1 uh, seeds, uh, well they're, they're beetroots, but they're, fr they're free seeds from DT Brands and uh, I do like them, they do look nice. I was going to pick them when they were really small for pickling, but they'll still pickle okay. Uh, some manky looking radishes. I'll just move the cherry tomatoes over. These are the carrots out of that bin, these are Nantes 5 and I've had two that uh, have actually uh, forked but uh, not bad at all some uh, the trailing tomatoes another two punnets of raspberries uh, these are the gigantimos uh, selection of uh, peppers from out the tunnel uh, continually taking grapes home and this is my first strawberry uh, of the second wave no I'll save it for Mrs. King. No, I will. Anyway, uh, a nice big bag full of kale, uh, full of white fly, etc. Lots of protein for my lad, and uh, the uh, a selection of lettuce. I'll give it him unwashed. Uh, he pleases himself then. He doesn't seem uh, too fussy. Uh, but yeah, pleased with the carrots and uh, again uh, some more beans but they are going over slowly and a big thank you from, for, from Steve from Digwell Greenfingers for letting me know that they are poisonous now William Coleman also said that I've got a stomach like uh, uh, perhaps a cow I don't know <laughs> but he didn't really say they were poisonous I think he was wanting me to eat more but yes, thank you Steve. Pop and see uh, Steve at Digwell Greenfingers. Uh, he's got a cracking channel, really good channel. I do enjoy watching uh, all his videos and he does make some really good comments and is very informative. And I pin his comments, comments many times. Thanks very much everyone. If you're new to my channel, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you're even newer, please subscribe, if you wish, if you like the content. But I'd like to thank everyone for the lovely comments. It's the comments that make a, a channel. Not necessarily... Necessarily? Not necessarily... Mm -hmm. The... Uh, how many subscribers you've got? 
so I'd like to say happy gardening to you all till next time my friends to half an hour